Here we're going to take a look at how we can introduce roof slab edge styles to our roof slabs. So looking at this we have uh, our roof slab here which we can see and attached to it is a roof slab edge style including a gutter and in this case uh, a tilting fillet too. So how can we create that? Well let's take, just going to a, a top view here, let's take a look at where we started from. Here we have a simple poly line that we've used tracing over the outline of the uh, what will become the profile that we wish to apply to our roof slab and you'll see that I've noted the dimensions there such that when we create the roof we can apply those dimensions to make sure that we get the same details. So going to our caddy application lines and polyline simply going to snap over the definition or the, the outline here so just picking my points I can use the the X as it says down there to create arc segments rather than lines and again I'll do the same here snapping to those just tracing around my outline a right click and close so there is my my polyline now to create a profile from that I simply select it right click and say or go to make and make AEC profile definition so this is where we're going to give it a name. How about facier and fill it. OK to that. And it says, or asks us where the origin of the profile is. Well, the origin of the profile could be here. So as our roof comes down, so that will be the top of the roof. That will be the position at which we'll pos uh, place the fascia. It's asked as if we have any additional polylines, well in this instance we don't so we can accept the end for no on the command line there. So just enter on that and there we have our profile definition. Now we can go and explore what the properties of that are, so if we go to the AEC tools, AEC style manager, come down to mu multi-purpose objects, profiles and there we see we have fascia and fillet. And there in fact is our polyline or the outline that we traced and here we can decide which direction we're going to extrude it so wall sweeps, railing, fascias etc and if we calculate the default edge positions for that which we'll Caddy will do automatically for us that's now uh, properly assigned everything for our, our profile having done that we now need to create a roof slab edge style containing that profile. So into architectural objects still in the style manager and we can go to roof slab edge styles and here we have uh, some uh, sample ones and a standard so if we say for instance took our, our standard one we could copy that and we could call it face here and fill it and OK to that. So there we are, fascia and fillet, design rules. So we're going to draw a fascia, the soffit uh, we could draw as well if we, we had another profile there, but we're just going to draw the fascia here, we're going to select the fascia and fillet profile that we, we've just created. Auto adjust, we don't need to apply that because we've actually created it literal size, although the auto adjust is available there to automatically adjust for any changes there too. Apply that. We can go to materials, so if we wish to apply different materials for our renderings, for instance, we could come down and pick uh, maybe roof, roof sub fascia, apply that, and there we have the work in the style manager completed. So how do we apply that to a roof? Well here we have a simple wall, so let's take it from from there. So we'll go to our AEC tools, pick on roof, and we're going to define our roof in the first instance. So 35 degrees, the overhang and the fascia height which we've taken from our, our 2D detail here we're going to auto detect rather than choose points or polyline. I'll to just choose freehand, drag over 
my walls and there's my roof created. Now when we create, uh, when we apply the slab edge tiles we need to apply those to a, a roof slab. This is a roof object, uh, so if we go to object properties you'll see it's a, an AEC DB roof. But we can convert that to roof slabs with the convert slabs tool and we can erase the original roof which will then leave us with individual roof slabs. We now modify the edge of those slabs so if I pick the particular one I want to choose you see we have command over what's happening uh, with those. So here we'll choose the edge style, the one that we've just created, face it and fill it. The edge cut is vertical rather than inclined uh, and angled so we'll OK to that and there we see it appears on our model. We can do the same thing with the, the next roof slab edge because they're all individual roof slabs. We can do the same thing again just tilting our model around and OK to that and that is how we apply or create a profile which then allows us to create a roof slab edge style and then we can apply that to a roof, roof slab and its edge.